Thank you so much for being here and for staying. Oh, well, I was going to bring the director on stage, but he's right here. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can sit in the middle. And we have uh, Vincent to help with uh, translation. Thank you so much. <laughs> So I prepared um, 200 questions for you. And they're not about the plot. Um, I love the film. I love the way where you give um, the rhythm of the film gives meaning to, um, I wouldn't say the, the plot, but like really the action is b carrying on all the energy and the meaning of the film. Um, also, it's a very atmospheric film, um, and in a certain of underworld that you've also talked about in your previous film. So, can you talk a, li a little bit uh, to start about your attraction for the world of uh, gangster or corrupted police or the underworld, the, the underworld of the, the city? Um, what is attracting you to, to that part? I like this film, and for the film's style, and a lot of things that are related to the action, and the feeling is very good. Why do you think that the film is related to the underworld of the underworld, and the underworld of the underworld, and the underworld of the underworld? Can you explain why you have this feeling of the underworld of the underworld? 呃，因为这些人边缘的人，他们都是我们日常里边认为的法外之徒，呃，我们认为他们是社会的渣子，但是呢，他们身上也有非常闪光的地方。我总是认为，越是黑暗的人身上，可能越有一些明亮的光，能让你感受到。So the reason why I particularly drawn to people living on the margin is just because these are the people tend to be considered as deviants, they are whether or not they are deviants of the society, deviants of uh, legal system. So uh, f the reason why I want to showcase them is just because I do think that when you see dark characters like this or in the most dark, the darkest corners of the society, you get to see the light of humanity even uh, in a sharper contra uh, uh, contrast. 呃，其实我们每个人内心也有他们这些人的强悍的一面或者阴暗的一面。就像这个主人公，他开始是一个随波逐流的人，被生活抛弃，或者是说逃避生活、逃避自己的人生、逃避自己的家庭、妻子和孩子。呃，但是突然，当命运、当这个非情的世界，或者说这个无情的世界。让他的命运突然转变，要面对死亡的时候，他突然有了机会，想要改变自己，想要报复这个命运，呃，所以他开始有了存在感。So especially for this particular character, I do think that we can relate to him uh, on the level of that we are on some level just like him, that we have this powerful, very aggressive, and very dark side of our, uh, our, our personality. And I do think that if you look at this particular character as a drifter growing up and then especially reaching adult life, and he very much just want to escape everything, including his own life, including his families and his wife and children. So I, I do think that it is not until this particular instance, the twist of fate, that he suddenly realized that there is this impending death uh, approaching, and then he really want to somehow uh, give some meanings to his own existence, and so it's almost like an existential crisis being forced onto him because of this particular impending death, and he want to really take revenge of all the, I guess, negative sides of uh, uh, what he has been through in the past by somehow choreograph or plan his own death in such a way that so that he can redeem himself at the end and then find the meanings of life. 他他面临的问题好像是一个哲学问题，就是，呃，我们怎样死？呃，其实我们生下来，所有的人最终面对的这个问题，对大家都是公平的。怎样死？死亡是一种美学，他去执行了。
他去否定了死亡，所以他最后通过自己的行动，经历了各种困顿，经历了各种精神的不安和诱惑，他去通过自己的行为改变了自己的存在，找到了自己的属性，就是他挽救了自己的人生。所有这些东西都基于到了一种他对自己过去背叛的生活的一种重新的回归。So I definitely think that this is something that we can relate to also on the philosophical level. The one question that we all ask is how are we going to die and how do you want to die? And I think that's just、uh, almost like an equalizer. That will be the same question that we all need to answer to. So in this particular case, that I do think that there's some Ascetics、uh, in this quest of finding out how you want to die and what will be、uh, the the way that you want to you, to depart or to go. So、uh, I think that for this particular character, that he has been through that whole process of facing death and then going through all the different anxieties, different temptations, and and different struggles, and at the end realize that this is the Only way and the best way for him to reclaim his own selfhood, and by staging his,、uh, not staging, planning、uh, his own death in such a way that will not only benefit、uh, other people in、uh, his life that he once abandoned, and then really want to seek personal salvation through this particular act、uh, of death at the end. And yes, thank you. Thank you so much for being so detailed um, about um, my question. I do want to follow up in terms of the atmosphere of the film.、Um, we've seen a lot of、uh, noir films to a point, but it sometimes seems cliché. And to get a new at,、um, visual identity of the noir underworld,、uh, the work you do with your director of、uh, cinematography. Is really astonishing. So you you go to the you have some the neon、uh, and the bright pink and a lot of blues coming in, and it's a lot of the film. Not everything, but a lot of film is set at night. So can you talk about specifically your collaboration with your director of cinematography,、uh, Dong Jing Song?、Mm -hmm. <laughs> 那对这部片里面是氛围非常重要，尤其在这样子一个类型片黑色电影里面，啊、呃，一般以前的一些拍的呃黑色电影的这个类型片都已经有点啊、呃，已经沉浮、呃、到一个程度，就是都你都可以预期到会什么样的状况发生，但是导演会啊、呃，可能透过跟这个、呃、摄影啊、呃、的一个合作里面，把一些很多一些元素，把它啊、呃、用另外一种方式表现出来，透过夜。啊，夜景啊，或者是透过这些所有在夜间拍摄的这些啊场景，然后透过这些光线是有些是蓝色，有些是荧光色的这样的一个运用，把以前这个呃城府概呃概念的这个黑色电影做了一个重新的诠释。那他们讲释一下呃讲释解释一下，你看这个摄影师是怎么样去合呃怎么合作把这个氛围把它构筑出来的。嗯，摄影师是我第一部片的摄影，一直合作到现在。我们已经合作了从零二年开始合作到今天，啊，大概有十十七年。呃，彼此都非常熟悉和了解。那、呃、我的剧本写出来以后，也会先先让他看。嗯、呃，所以在在一些沟通上和审美趣味上，我们不用费什么精力。呃。主要是怎么去实施，怎么去呈现。可以说，呃，我是他的左眼，他是我的右眼。他也会提醒我这场戏的表演，他也会关心表演，我也会关心摄影。呃，相辅相成，都是一些正向的互相帮助的往前发展。嗯、呃，至于你说的夜，那夜，我觉得这个逃犯他一定是在夜晚，像一个动物一样被猎被。被围捕、被被追猎，呃，他白天不会出来，所以我们大量的百分之八十五的夜景都是根据剧情要求，没有办法，呃，只能是用夜晚来拍摄。那夜也有它的魅力，它就像一个滤镜或者像一一一层纱一样，把纵深的白天看到的纵深的那些写实的东西过滤掉了，所以你们看起来它更像一个舞台，或者像一个抽象空间。像一个纯粹的
呃反映时间在这里边流逝的一个空间，呃，这就是夜给我们提供的最大的技术的，呃，心理的、审美的一个保障。I will try. So, uh, in terms of the the cinematographer, I've been working with him since uh, my first film in 2002. So we have been working together for 17 years up to this point. So we have really good working collaboration uh, agreement uh, in a way that we understand each other. Uh, we really work well together. Uh, on the level of aesthetics, we share the same aesthetics, so there's not much explanation needed uh, when we collaborate. And when I finish my script, I also show my script to uh, Dong Jin Song, which is a cinematographer first, so that we can have, we'll be on the same page, literally speaking. So I, I tend to think that uh, for us, the collaboration is not on the uh, conceptual or creative level, it's very much about the, the execution. How, how can we work together to e execute what I have put down uh, in my script? And I, I see, uh, we joke about this, uh, it's almost as if that I'm the left eyes and he is the right eyes. And together we get to see things in a more complete manner that we actually complement each other very well. Sometimes he's actually going to, uh, will, uh, collaborate with me in terms of the acting side or the directing side of the uh, the shooting uh, the shoot and also he will in turn uh, also, I'm sorry I then will in turn uh, give some feedback and comments about the uh, the cinematography and how I want the uh, shot to be set up so uh, the second part of your question about the night scenes I do think that since this particular story is about a character on the run a fugitive so I really want to somehow position him in this dark, not only side, the underbelly of society, but also literally in, uh, at night. And uh, almost like that, he become the animals to be hunted. And um, I really want to somehow use this particular characteristics of night scenes, because if you think about night, because of lighting, it almost as if you give a filter uh, to the camera and also almost pre uh, you create a screen f to filter out things that you don't want to present in the films and by using this particular night scene or the filter that I just mentioned you tend to change and transform the three-dimensional uh, images into a two-dimensional one and then make it very almost as if it's on stage that become very very abstract and with this particular abstraction you get to really uh, examine and develop and explore this concept of time uh, through that two-dimensional abstraction. And that's the reason why I love to use uh, night scenes and, and shot this film in particular, 85% of them at night. Um, I'd like to follow up with the importance of the, the sound because we've talked a lot of the visual aspect, but the sound, uh, the sound design as well as the music is also crucial uh, to carry on the action and uh, what's happening to that character. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit more about maybe how you design the sound? Um, it's, it's very particular in many films uh, where you feel the action is coming in because the sound will indicate it. And the, the, the use of music also is, is pretty unusual and quite... Um, a good counterpart to the darkness of the film. Uh 就是把这个剧情的这个情节点把它往前推演透过音乐通过音效的设计那通常这个音乐上面也是通常用一些非常不平常的这样的音乐的使用那你们讲试一下为什么会选择这样子使用音效和音乐特别是对夜戏方面是
你们听到的声音是刚刚在上海做出来的，还刚刚出锅的。So、uh, for the Cannes Film Festival early this year, so we actually run through the the sound components or the soundscape of the film. So the one that you just saw and listened to is actually a brand new、uh, revision from the Cannes Film. Uh, festival version, and this is freshly out of Shanghai studios that, that we uh, uh, we actually remastered the sound. Uh, the sound is very i m 也都是结合那样的一种舞台感，提供到空间里面。So in terms of the the sound, I think that I, there's really to enhance the not only the narrative but also the atmosphere that I want to create. I want to create in this film.、Uh, in terms of the the music I use, I use a lot of traditional music,、uh, either from the、uh, traditional wind instruments or string instruments. And、um, uh, just position them in such a strategic manner so that it's also draw a lot of inspiration from the Chinese.、Uh, the, I'm sorry, the Beijing opera、uh, elements、uh, using the instruments and also the way that that introduce certain、uh, musical、uh, components. If you can feel the sound in this film taking on a role, I hope the sound artist will be very happy because he is a character. 加入到了这个创作里，我就声音作为一个人物，作为一个角色加入到了创作里面。Mm -hmm. So if you really see the sound or the soundscape that I have created become a character of the film, I think my sound designer will be very, very pleased because that's exactly what a sound designer should do. 然后胡歌听了也可能会很高兴，因为他最后唱了一首歌，我们一直犹豫用不用这首歌，直到最后一分钟决定好用吧。那个录音师在门口一直等到凌晨五点钟。然后把那首歌的硬盘拿进来，然后让他唱，呃，用了这首歌。然后我觉得那首歌是他们终于聚会了，在一起了。Mm -hmm. So also I think the main character, the male lead, Hu Ge, will be very pleased because he actually sang、uh, one of the music、uh, in the films. And then I think that we were debating whether or not we're going to include this in the film. And then later on we decided that、uh, yes, we're going to use it. And then at five o'clock in the morning. We took the,、uh, the 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 CD in and trying to、uh, really record and make this work, and then、uh, we did it. And then it's in the film; it's included. And I think that really add another dimension to, dimension to this particular film when they are getting together for the、uh, for the last time. And then he was singing、uh, in the background. I have to say the actor is is, is amazing. So if you get him to sing. As well as do the action scene is is completely perfect on、mm -hmm. every angle. So it was a good use of the singing.、Um, maybe you had to pay more for the singing. I'm not sure. He said, "This, especially for actors, ah, not only is he making his performance in the movement, he has also made some achievements. He can sing. So it means that your collaboration is very strong. And I encourage you to sing some new songs. And I encourage you to sing some new songs. And I encourage you to sing some new songs. And I encourage you to sing 是因为我觉得胡歌作为这个演员，他非常的有特别的气质，呃，忧郁，然后他的形象也非常俊朗，然后呢，他呢是一张非常透明的纸，可以让他的肢体、让他的动作去填补他心里的、他的情绪化的所有的语言，都是通过他的肢体和动作。传达出来，这是胡歌特别擅长的。当然，我们组里的所有的演员都非常好。你们应该观影的时候有这种感受，他们也都融合的非常好。So I definitely think that Hu Ge, the main lead, male lead, he has really a very, very、uh, fitting temperament for this particular film, and also because of his refined features and the way that、um, uh, he project himself. Somehow become a, 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 almost trans,、uh, uh, transform himself into this transparent paper that we can manipulate and we can somehow、uh, project and reflect 
uh, onto him a lot of things that we want to uh, present in this particular film. So definitely it's a very interesting way for him to, through his body language, through his actions, through his gestures, uh, we get to really uh, present the deeper inner thoughts and inner psychology and psyche of this particular character. But I have to say that uh, Huger is not the, the only person who is doing very well in this film. I think all my crews and all my uh, actors and actresses, they did a wonderful job collaborating together and work together and then on the sun level in terms of their, uh, the way that they act uh, in this film. Mm-hmm. So we were just talking about the if we have to define Hugo as an actor, it's more on the Joplin side or it's more on the Michael Keaton side. So uh, the, the answer is that we b- b- all agree that it, he's more of on the, uh, the Keaton side, it's more about the actions, about the, the, the physical side of it. 因为基顿的表演是纯粹依靠自己的肢体，依靠动作来传达情绪化的心理，来解释剧情。卓别林是依靠剧情，依靠意义，依靠幻觉。So for Keaton, it's very much about again the the actions, the gestures actually tease out the meanings of the film or the what he want to present it in the film. Whereas for Joplin, it's very much rely on the plot lines, rely on the the fantasy or the the magic that he create uh, through whatever uh, manipulations or any type of uh, um, uh, very, very, very purposeful uh, designs to get the meaning out. So the actors are all based on the same kind of thing, which is the human being is all of the things that he is doing. He says what he says, it's not important. So I think for all the crew members, well, I'm sorry, for all the actors and actresses of uh, act in the film, I think we are all on the same page of the one way that we want to present this film is that we are the sum, sum of our actions. So it's very much body language, gesture, action driven, rather than trying to talk about what's actually going on in your head or in your mind. Mm-hmm. So through action, this particular individual going from who, a nobody or that life means nothing to him to at the end become this person who actually makes something out of his life and become someone who has actualized himself. So that's very much what I want to accomplish with this film. I'm I have another 197 question, but because maybe people want to participate too, so we can take um, uh, we can take a couple of questions from the audience. There's someone here. Yes, you. Uh, there's a microphone coming to you, so I will not I will not have to repeat the question. It will be broadcasted. I think you have a fantastic tension throughout the whole film, so. There's always the threat, the constant threat of the police or the other gangsters. Um, and I wonder if there were other movies, maybe, that you referenced or watched to get a sense of how to keep that tension going throughout the whole movie. Now,导演，这部片一直从片头到片尾都很多啊，充满了张力。那一一波一波来的这样的威胁或这样的张力是持续。不断，那包不管是从警方方面，或者从黑社会方面，然后都一直把让我们呃一直觉得是有被吸引，呃，对影片吸引，被那个张力吸，张力吸引。那能不能谈一下您之前你是有受到什么样的电影的，或者是影片
I want to somehow, <laughs> and I want uh, somehow to create a balance between uh, that this is a film not only for the audience but also for the filmmaker to express himself or herself as an actor. 但要这样子的话，对创作者来讲是非常难的，其实真的很难。And of course, this is very, very challenging, very, very difficult to accomplish for filmmakers. Really, really. I one to think of Hitchcock, and then one to think of Le Noir or Hou Xiaoxian. Mm-hmm. So on the one hand, I have to think about Hitchcock, and then also on the other, I might have to think about Hou Xiaoxian at the same time. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, it's a combination of different elements, and at the end, in your body. 被酿造出来的，比如说葡萄酒，开始是葡萄，最后如果还是葡萄就没有意思了。Mm-hmm. So definitely, it's a multi-layers, multi-elements, integrations and infusion,、uh, just the same way that if you want a bottle of red wine or white wine, and you cannot start with grapes and end up with grapes at the end. So I, I just want to combine all these different ingredients and different. Uh, elements and then for them to work seamlessly. So this process, so this process is to put your experience, direct experience, and your imagination together, mixed together, in a continuous process. Mm-hmm. So it is definitely an integration and inf- the diffusion of either your direct experience, your indirect experience, experience, or just completely. Uh, your own imagination, and for them to work well together, and hopefully become, I guess, the wine at the end. 最后只要留下好的口感和气味就可以了。So as long as you have a very good aftertaste and also a very nice note to your wine at the end, I think that's a success. I agree. Unfortunately, we have we don't have time to continue. Even so, we do have a lot more questions. I. Love the film uh, in the integration of the cinephilia that comes that you have, but still creating a new world and a new imagery. And I think it's very, very rare today. So I love this film, and I'm looking forward to your next film and, and a long career. So thank you so much for being with us uh, tonight. Thank you so much, everyone. And. Um, <laughs>